most common, a good entry to learn when you first start SEO. There's a, there's a bunch of different ways to get there, but uh, Nick's going to be on his knees, and I got butterfly guard. Okay. Um, sometimes uh, you find it hard to get a good angle and go for the normal butterfly sweep. Um, and instead of trying to like sweep them, you just want to like get them up onto their feet. Okay. And that's when we can enter X guard. Okay. So. We're here, it can be hard to sweep. I'm just gonna put both hands like as a real shallow underhook to pull him forward. I'm gonna fall back and then I start to push him up and forward. The further he lands forward and steps forward, the easier this is gonna be for me, okay? So again, uh, like usually we're looking to get an underhook and try and go for a sweep. But if they're defending that really well, sometimes it's, it's enough, you just see a little gap. It's gonna reach to here, both hands. Rock straight to your back and then push in their armpits to bring them as far forward and high and make them step here like this, okay? Straight away, one hand's gonna go under the leg and you're gonna pull your head towards that uh, same foot, okay? So go like this, your hook drops down to the knee and then your other hook is gonna come through and catch the far hip like this. So this is why they call it X guard because you're making like a or you're making an X with your feet, but in reality, you're not actually uh, in contact. They're, they're apart like that, so they're, they're like this. Yeah. What's more? There we're here. We see room to get two hands through, fall back, lift, reach under the leg, pull your head towards the ankle, drop your bottom hook to the knee, and make an X with your legs here like this. Okay? Let's just warm up, get into the X guard and then we'll work uh, some ways to sweep from here. Three, two, one. Um, let's go over, before we even worry about sweeping them, let's make sure we're controlling the position correctly. Yeah, so I'll go over that in a bit more detail. I get Nick up to here, I reach under the leg, and I go to X go. Now, uh, who could tell me the most common ways people will escape this? Sorry? Yeah, sometimes they'll push down on your legs and that'll let them clear their leg. Sometimes they'll run away and you lose the, the leg here. Okay, so let's, uh, and, and then sometimes people will like have some fancy ways of kicking off and, uh, and freeing this leg. Okay, so um, I'll start with my feet first. I want my knees pointed outwards and they're both putting pressure like this. Okay, like that. Yeah. Now, I need to have, that means my hooks are really tight with my knees flared out. It's way harder uh, for Nick to back step off this leg when I'm putting pressure like that, okay? If my knee's like this, there's no tension, you can kick off that leg really well, okay? So my knees need to be flared and I'm putting a lot of pressure out like this. To stop Nick from running away, I can't just be holding a leg like this because I'm not really, like if he runs and pulls his leg away, that will slip, especially if it's a bit sweaty. You need a handle, and the handle's gonna be the kneecap, okay? Pull away now, yeah? Generally, if they try and pull away from this, they're gonna pull you up, yeah? Because I'm holding the knee. If you've got a good grip, you're just gonna fall on. So we want our knees flared out, and pressure like this. And the last thing, which I think is the thing people do the least, but it's probably one of the most important. I don't want Nick up like this. This is where he gets all his defense from. I always want his hands on the mat here like this. How do you reckon I get his weight forward? Turn on my side, but then I lose this. Yeah? I can, like if I turn that, I start to lose tension here. Now Nick can start driving his hips forward. So what I do, <laughs> I'll answer. Um, yeah, one stretch like that. So at the same time, I'm always putting a bit of stretching pressure as I'm pushing outwards with my legs. Uh, stand up, Nick. But the other thing, my my right knee, I'm gonna hook behind the back of his hamstring here. Okay, and I'm gonna like tilt with that knee. So I'm still putting outward pressure with my hook, like this. But that should be sitting right behind his hamstring, and I only have to tilt a little bit to my left and extend, and his hands will be on the mat, okay? So, Nick, try and get your hands off the mat and get back up. Now my aim is to be able to keep him here, like this. This is where I can set up my sweeps. All right, so we're gonna just spend uh, two minutes on top, two minutes on bottom. Start standing, and say, ready, set, go. Nick's gotta try and stay standing. 
I've got to try and get his hands on the mat and keep his hands on the mat. Okay? Uh, does that make sense? Yep. Alright, if they've had their hands on the mat for like 10 seconds, uh, stop, let it back up and go again. Alright, 3, 2, 1, set. We're here, we get X guard like this. Now, uh, once we uh, get them down, we want to, the, the most common sweep from here, and I think the best one is the, the technical stand up. Um, so I'm going to show it. Uh, so I use my, again, I use my knee on the back of the hamstring to knock them forward like this. Um, I'll show you how to get up, and I'll tell you the timing for this in a moment. Okay? Definitely, we have to hold the knee cap, the top of the knee cap, because again, they're going to run away. Uh, it's happened to me way too many times in competitions that uh, now I always <laughs> make sure I grab the kneecap so that they can't try and run out of bounds uh, and not get the advantage that should have got. Um, <laughs> uh, so my right foot that was hooking here is going to go to the inside of the leg. It's really important it's your right foot and not your left foot because the way Nick can get out of this is to back step. If I use my left foot here, he can kick off and now this is like I might be able to get up, but he might scramble out here too, okay? Um, whereas if I use my right foot, try and kick off, he's still stuck here like this, okay? So my right foot, I'm gonna use my toes high on the thigh, like this, I'm gonna kick on a diagonal in this direction. Not straight, because sometimes the foot like stops the straight kick, but when you kick up, it lets you sort of start to get up. At the same time as you kick, you wanna be getting up on your hand like this, okay? Once you're up on the, your hand, it's too late for them to drive you back now. You've got some support, so you can take your leg back, get back up, and run through. Okay, so we're here. We knock him forward. I change my foot to the thigh. I kick and get up at the same time, and then we can start to get up, all right? You can, if, it's, if it's hard to get up, you'll have to, like if they're driving back a lot, you'll have to do a technical stand up where you put your foot back and go like that. If they're trying to run away, you'll just kind of roll through and chase. Once more. We're here. This, knock them forward. Go to here. Kick and get up. And we chase them down. Okay? Uh, the takedown is the easy part. Now, in reality, the timing for when I go for this, I usually won't wait until they, they're down. The best timing for this, as soon as you feel, you, there's a moment where you feel that they are falling and they're going to put their hands, that's when I start to kick, okay? Because they don't have time to engage their legs properly and, and their balance to stop. If you let them, if you let them sort of stabilize here, they can start making it difficult to get your legs in place. So as soon as you knock them forward, just start your kick, alright? So once you get used to this, try and add that timing element in as well, alright? Three, two, one.